Here's a gear train that has a ratio of 84,375, meaning that the gear on this end has to turn around 84,375 times to make the gear on the other end of the train go around one time. And if I turn one of these ones in the middle, you can see how fast the gears at the fast end are moving and how slow the gears at the other end are moving. I'm not going to turn this around 84,375 times. But let me show you how I calculated the number of times. We're going from a gear with 8 teeth to 24 teeth, so that'll go 3 times faster than this one. That one is attached to another gear with 8 teeth. This is attached to one with 40 teeth, so that'll go 5 times as fast. So every time it goes from a small gear to medium gear, it goes 3 times slower. From a small gear up to a large gear, it goes 5 times slower. And if you look here, it's going from a small gear up to a big gear five different times. So that's five times five times five times five times five. And it's going from a small gear to a medium gear with 24 teeth three times. So it's the five to the fifth times three to the third. And it will be a total of 84,375.